So these are some of the photos from the original Craven in 1983. That's me in the middle. I was probably about 14 years old. We always like to go on the first day so we get a better spot. I don't remember how it was advertised back then. I just remember as a kid, dad took me and my brother and a bunch of our family members went and we got really good camping. It was right near the front where the gates were. The entry used to be at the, on the east side where the gopher run is. That was the first couple years where we entered the, ground, the grounds. We didn't have wristbands back then. We had a little name tag. So you could swap name tags with people or it would just fall off and they would just wave you in and say, that's okay. Well, I remember seeing Roy Orbison and that was a pretty big deal seeing people you've heard on the radio or in your dad's car stereo and was thinking, wow, that's the first real type celebrity I've ever seen or the first musician. Some favorite memories are is like Eric Church actually in 2012 when he felt when Blake Shelton canceled. We just blew everybody away. It was a perfect setting. The, the weather was great. It was warm. Um, the crowd was so into it. So that was, when I think back, that's probably my favorite concert. Kenny Rogers in the early 90s, that was another really good one where the crowd was singing along every song and then he just stopped dead singing and the crowd was so loud and just finished the song. My camping experience, you know, there's, was intense at the beginning and I, some of us that were lucky, like family members, some of us had camper trailers and what have you. And then as I got older, I was able to buy my own camper and then I, I've been in a camper ever since. I got a, an older motor home and then this year I've upgraded to a travel trailer, which is a little more comfortable. I'm starting to get a little fussy. I'm getting soft in my old years. I'm quite excited to be able to stay in something a lot more comfortable than a 1977 motor home. So I started off for a Las Vegas themed birthday party. After the party was done, it's like, what do we do with this sign? We just chatted, thought, well, let's just turn it into a Lost Craven sign and take it with us to Craven. So every year we set it up in our campsite and we use it and take group photos and just have fun with it. And everybody that walks by our campsite, they want to have a photo taken with it. We've had the RCMP, they show up every year and take an annual photograph, like Wednesday or Thursday and take the group photo. and. Just randoms, like I've got an Instagram and I see random photos of people like when we're at the concert bowl and you say, hey, that's our campsite and people just stopping by to have a photo. Who am I looking forward to most this year is, I'm gonna say Chris Stapleton just because I think we're the only Canadian stop he has. So it's kind of neat to, to, be, to be a part of that, I think. A lot of people don't realize that this is your one chance per year to see a lot of these performers, some that you may never see come here on their own on a tour. Like, so by not going to this show, you're gonna miss out on a lot. You'd have to probably go to Nashville or to Vegas and, and see some of them. When I look at the list of all the, the, the artists I've seen, and then I, I look at that list and I see, oh my, like some of these, they've passed away. Like there's no other chance obviously to see them. So you wanna see some of them when you get the chance because you never know if you're gonna get that chance again.